Well, the big story tonight, surprising new details in the case of the NASA Langley contractor accused of lying to federal agents. Turns out Chinese national Bo Zhang was never spying as prosecutors suspected. Tonight, we're hearing from those who say they knew that from the start. Tony, your side's Anita Blanton is live in the newsroom with reaction and more on what happened in federal court. Anita? Well, Nicole and Tom, Bojang is out of jail tonight and he'll soon be out of the country. But it's not because he was spying, although he did break the law. We were the only television crew to catch up with his family leaving court today. Though this situation has been frustrating and scary for them, they were finally all smiles. Today in court, prosecutors said they didn't find any classified government information on Bo Zhang's electronic devices. And Zhang admitted to the personal secrets he was storing there instead. He pled guilty to downloading copyrighted TV shows, movies, and sexually explicit materials for personal use from a NASA contractor's laptop. They didn't find any like evidence for the spying stuff. So all they can find the, is the evidence for some like a movie stuff. <laughs> it's a misdemeanor. He has to leave the country within 48 hours. Zhang's family says they couldn't be more pleased. I think everybody feel comfortable because he's, he's going home soon. His visa had expired anyway, but let's go back over the events that led up to today. Zhang was barred from NASA facilities late last year fired from his job in January at the National Institute of Aerospace. He was under federal investigation for a possible conspiracy when he was stopped on March 16th as he tried to leave Dulles International Airport for Beijing. Then authorities said he lied about what equipment he was actually carrying and the court battle began. They thought he was taking secrets back to China and in a less serious sense, he was. And now that it's out in the open, he and his family are just glad that one way or another, he's about to board a flight. I've talked to him actually yesterday because we visited him yesterday in the jail. So uh, he's pretty happy he can come out soon and uh, just go back to China. <laughs> they were prepared for a long fight to get him free. Tonight, they're just glad he can put this behind him and move on. Zhang initially caught notice of authorities when he took a government computer to China on a visit. He speaks broken English, so there is some question as to whether he actually understood what he was being asked in the airport the day he was arrested, trying to take more devices back over to China again. In the newsroom, Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.